he's coming south to try to steal the crown jewel from the Southern Drivers from Berlin, Connecticut. Ryan Priest, your short track career is well known. In the last two years, we've came to a short track to start the season here in the LA Coliseum. Man, you're rolling through that tunnel, seeing all the football stuff, seeing the training facility. It's hard to not remind you a little bit of Bowman Gray Stadium. Yep, and very vividly, I remember the first time I walked out at Bowman Gray Stadium, and you know, I'm whatever, 18, 19 years old, look out, wave to the south, one kid looks at me, waves back, and then gives me the middle finger. I felt, I felt right at home. This place is amazing. I'll never forget the first time we went there for the Hayes Jewelers 200. Yeah. We rolled out on the racetrack for the first time. They did driver introductions, and we were right in front of the beer garden, which would be right here. Yep. And they were from New Jersey, Brian Kramer. Boo, Yankees. Yep. But yeah, I'll never forget that. Just that atmosphere in there. How did that compare here? Did it remind you at all of that? Oh, yeah. I mean, we're really far away from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. We're in Los Angeles, right? This place packed with fans. It's amazing how that energy you feel from everybody going out, and, and it hypes you up. Never count him out in these races. He could be a contender with his experience racing on short tracks. Ryan Priest. Bowman Gray Stadium, I had that feeling at a smaller scale, and then walking down those steps right there for that cup race, it's awesome. Now the grit and tenacity that you that it takes to win like you did at Bowman Gray yeah. is the same thing that got you into this race last year. I think at the end of the day, there's a line, right? York, I, I don't want to be the first one to cross it, but at the end of the day, if it's the difference between me making that race and not making that race because somebody did it to me, they aren't going to win. I'm going to have the last punch in that fight. It's all in how bad you want it, right? Your owner, Tony Stewart, tested a next-gen car at Bowman Gray Stadium. That season's getting ready to kick off. How how much, how close is this? How much does this resemble Bowman Gray when you get the run around here? I mean, to me, it's the same thing, right? It, it literally is the same thing. We have modeled a racetrack after Bowman Gray Stadium that's been around for, I mean, I want to say 70 plus years, right? So it, it was cool to, to see the next gen, you know, go out at Bowman Gray Stadium and then now it's here in Los Angeles. So I'm a big short track guy. I love my roots. And uh, us at the national level, having a racetrack that is the perfect example of what short track racing is, is, is really awesome. What was it like taking the checkered flag at Bowman Gray, beating the Myers brothers, beating Tim Brown? How was that? You know, I actually, they remember me when I was 14 years old and being that kid that showed up to Friendship Speedway in North Carolina to race against them. So I've known them for a long time. I have a lot of respect for them, but it felt great being that Northerner to come down and beat the South. Did you get booed or did they cheer for you? I think uh, I probably got booed. They started racing at Bowman Gray in 1958 and they're getting ready to fire off the 2023 season. Who's your pick for the championship this year? Man, that's tough. Burt Myers and Tim Brown have had quite the battle, right? You gotta pick one. Only one. Only one? All right, uh, I'm gonna have to go with Tim Brown. Tim Brown, uh, you're taking the low hanging fruit. I'm going with Jonathan John Boy Brown. We sure will be watching each and every week on Flow. Make sure you tune in.